This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. And right now we're going to do Danielle's uh, segment, where we, which we call Our Valley with Danielle. <laughs> Mark likes the harp music. That was I could tell. Danielle, tell us today. I, I want to hear what you have to say about Silverado Ranch. Let's hear all about it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Silverado Ranch, which is a planned community located in the southeast part of the valley. It's 89123. Um, extends up to 89183. Mm-hmm. And it's um, a community built by developer American West in the late 80s, or excuse me, late 90s, 1999. And it's it's not a master plan community like some of the other ones that we've been talking about. But I think uh, Silverado Ranch has a lot of amenities and a lot of great things to offer. I mean, location number one, right? It's less than 10 minutes from the strip in the airport. Yep. Um, a lot of parks. Um, restaurants, shopping, dining, you can, in certain neighborhoods, you could definitely walk, mm-hmm. right? It's close to, it's adjacent to Henderson. So often when I have clients relocating and they mention Henderson, um, you don't hear Silverado Ranch. And so we kind of add that in and say, have you ever heard of this area? It's a great home, or, you know, desirable place to live. What are the prices like in there? So anywhere for condos around 180000 Okay. up to, I don't know, $1.2 million. Oh, okay. Right. So there's yeah. some big homes in there too. Yeah. But they're they're selling quick like everything else right now. They're selling pretty quick, but ten yes. days on the market. Days on market about ten days. Yeah. And average mm-hmm. price is what four hundred eleven thousand. Are, are they but. building new homes there? Are they building any new they product? They are. So they're building Century's building, Lennar, a um, few other builders starting at like four hundred something thousand, going up to about six or seven hundred thousand. Nice. And and the lots were. You know, I, I I recall the lots being pretty good size there too. Not the, the teeny tiny lots that we see sometimes these days, but some decent sized lots. Maybe because of the time when they were built in the nineties. Yeah, they, I mean, they were you have still larger lots, size. larger backyards. Uh, you don't have such you know wider streets, um, established neighborhoods. I think you'd see more of uh, landscape maintenance HOAs than you would stricter HOAs. And I've you know seeing um, communities that allow you to store your your boats and cars and RVs. And so um, Silverado Ranch is, you know, very desirable place to live. Don't want to forget Silverado Ranch Park, which is over 10,000 square feet, has uh, softball fields, picnic areas, barbecue grills, playgrounds, outdoor amphitheater, uh, large skate park, allowing rollerblading and skateboarding. And then also we don't want to forget uh, Sunset Regional Park, right? which was created or built in 1967. It's considered the crown jewel. It's like the biggest park. It's like one of in the Las biggest, Vegas. Yes, the biggest park. It yeah. is. Yep. Um, they have seven volleyball courts, soccer fields, golf tournaments, eight basketball courts, nine. Um, I think it's said softball fields, two little leagues, five playgrounds, uh, tons of walking trails, sports park, dog park, disc, golf course, and even fishing, as long as you have a license. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any of the other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at LV Real Estate Radio. We'll meet you on the radio next Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on the new 101.5 FM 720 AM KDON, the talk of Las Vegas.